Hi everybody, Finton here from Dams and Cloud, and this week I'm talking about Google's e-signature tool. It's not quite new, but it hasn't been available to Google Workspace customers uh, as of yet. It's launching this year, and I thought a quick run-through of how the tool worked would be valuable for our viewers. So let's get into it. So I have a document here that I've created and it was created with Gemini, obviously, a quick NDA, and I would like to get this signed. Now, in this example, I'm just going to be uh, doing, doing it myself or signing myself. Within the tools, you can see I have an e-signature section, and I can open the e-signature section. I can actually decide on the different um, people I want, so I can manage my signers. I've got ABC Limited here. I could add multiple signers if I wanted uh, to the document. In this case, I'm just going to have myself uh, I can grab the signature block and pop that down there. I can grab the date block and pop that down there. And then I can grab a text field, which can be really anything I want. And you can see here, I can actually add a placeholder. So I'm gonna add a placeholder called, placeholder, excuse me, called job title. Um, and that's it. That's my, my document ready to be sent off for signature. So now I can request the e-signature. It's gonna ask me for the signer's email address. In this case, I'm just doing myself. Uh, and it's predicted me there, and I can say, hi, please sign, see, sign this NDA. Okay, and then I can request the e-signature be sent off. It will create a PDF, and then it will send it off for signature. So now if I go back to my email and we do a quick refresh, I will now have an e-signature uh, request in here. I can open that up, and it's gonna open up a PDF of that previous document. Uh, and we've got up on top, mark as complete, reject, and view details. If I view the details, it will just give me the, the details of the uh, document. I can scroll down to my signature section. When I click on sign, it will ask me to enter in my full name. So I can pop that in there, and also my initials. And then to adopt and sign the document. So I'm adopting that as my signature. I can pop in my uh, CEO job title here. It's already put in the date for me. And now that I've completed those sections, I have the ability to mark this as complete. So when I go to mark it as complete, there are some terms and conditions that I have to accept as the end user. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna agree and sign my document. And that's it, it's marked it as complete. And you can see I've received another email now with the completed document attached. And when I open it, we've got the same document we had before, but now my signature has been attached. Okay, and you can see how you could have multiple uh, signatories on here. Uh, it's been something that we've been using internally, actually for some internal documents, which has been very, very valuable. A very sort of simple, quick um, e-signature tool. And for a lot of small and medium-sized businesses, this is perfect. Um, and I would recommend trying it out <clears throat> when you get access to this feature yourself. That's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you're not, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter, and all of the various socials. And I will see you guys in the next one.